What's up everybody, it's your boy me here for breakfast. I had a jalapeno bagel with coffee and that's pretty good. Um, and for dinner, I'm probably gonna have leftover meatball soup. I'm just hanging out today. Um, today is a free day today, which is pretty nice. Um, I was planning on going to work today, but my boss never really texted back on if I should go to work or not today. So the assumption was no. Uh, he ended up texting me a little after my mom left and was like, oh yeah, you can come in, but if you can't now, that's fine. And I was like, yeah, I can't now. Uh, but I'm coming in tomorrow and that's pretty good. So I had a free day where I wasn't doing anything. Um, and I just sort of did stuff with my computer. I found out that my um, RAM has been running at the wrong speed this whole time. I don't know how long it's been doing that, but um, it was supposed to be running at 3200 uh, megahertz, but it was running at 2100, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you know, I don't know if like my computer has been really slow because of that. I don't, it's really crazy. I didn't know, but um, yeah, so my computer should be faster now, and that's just funny, I think. Um, I um, got this CD alternative. Oh, yeah, so um, yeah, so I've just been also trying to figure out why my Windows 11 VM has been slow. I look at other people's Windows 11 VMs through QEMU, um, and they're not as slow as mine. And it's fine when I move the cursor around, but as soon as I like drag a window, it like really lags, and it's strange because I look at Task Manager in the guest machine, and it's fine, it's at like 10% usage everywhere. So I don't know what's causing the issue, it's very strange. Um, don't worry, I checked it after I fixed my RAM settings and it's still weird. Um, so I don't really know what's up with it. Um, but I did get a ZSH alternative called, I think, Z Oxide. Not a ZSH alternative, a CD alternative. Um, and you may think, like, oh, CD just changes you from directory to directory, why do you need an alternative? Uh, and why is it called Z-Oxide? You have to type that every time you CD into a directory, and you don't. You can, um, it's actually shorter than CD, it's just the letter Z, that's the command. Um, and I just have it, um, aliased to CD in my ZSH config. So, the way it works is it, uh, the way I've described it is it's kind of like a fuzzy, um, CD. So, um, the way it works is it acts like any normal um, CD command. So you would do like CD, um, yes, you would do like CD um, docs, VMs, QMU, Win11 new, right? Um, and you know, it acts normal, right? But the reason why it's like fuzzy is because if you know um, two directories in the directory path that you're going to, um, it can sort of triangulate the location of the directory you want to go to depending on your previous history. So um, you could just type cd docs win 11 uh, and then it just brings you to there because it knows. Um, the way it works is whenever you cd to a directory it holds it in a file um, and then like it holds like a database of the directories you go to pretty regularly in a file um, and depending on their age and how frequently you go to them uh, it weights them depending on that data, right? So I think there's a way to print that data. One sec. Um, okay, so according to the video, I, according to the video I watched, you type z oxide query dash l dash s, and then you type that into less. And um, yeah, so okay, it looks like it's pretty small right now because I haven't moved to that many things yet since I've installed it. But um, these are the weights, right? So it's twelve, and it goes down. It's kind of sorted by weight. So um, yeah, that's how you show your weights. As you CD to more directories, the longer this will fill out. But um, yeah, it's just cool. I'm trying to get out. Um, and you know, I have like a, a last alternative called uh, Easy A, um, just because it looks a little better and it has like icons and stuff. Um, and that's cool. So I'm always into improving the terminal experience. And um, you know, shout out to Shout out to this video for introducing me to it. Um, this channel is really good, it has a really low amount of subscribers, um, but he makes like really super interesting Linux videos and they're in 4K and I think, yeah, they're 4K 60, which is just always a pleasure to view. Um, I love 4K video, it's incredible. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's really cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everybody's having a good day and, um, yeah, all right, see you, dude.